plan goes off, uh, I can ask you to exit the hall by the two doors at the back and make your way out through the foyer and to the car park. At the interval, tea, coffee and juice will be served through the dining hall. And again, to get there, if you exit through the doors at the back, turn left and then left again and make your way in there. It's one pound for tea and coffee and 15 pence for juice. And the rugby team will be serving you this evening and all the money raised will go towards uh, funding or helping to fund their tour. Now, for the play, I've been asked to warn you that during the play uh, there will be three gunshots going off, so please don't be alarmed uh, when that happens. And this is all would also be described as all of with a twist, uh, a non-naturalistic production of a musical that we're all very familiar with. And I'm sure that's quite your appetite uh, for the play. So, ladies and gentlemen, all the twist. <laughs> Oh, 
grandchild. Do you say your prayers at night? Yes, ma'am. Well, if you pray hard enough, God in his infinite wisdom may show sure mercy on you. Yes, ma'am. Tea, my lady. Thank you, Mr. Lipkins. Why do they not smile? Do not feed and clothe them? Offer them shelter? Indeed. But your pork is a strange animal, like Ivy Hickling's ruthless independent. Thus, he will suck the life of a stern. Indeed. <laughs> he calls upon those of us blessed with strength and independence of mind to lead these feeble creatures from sloth and degradation once more to great useful labor. We may yet turn this clean Ivy to great English help. Don't act on grain or wretch. Your poor mama. It's not in workouts to be happy. No, no, no. The workouts, man, should be a place of misery and drudgery. Christ, sir. Indeed, yes. Your papa, man, is an insolent and dangerous villain, and he will learn nothing except with tribes of bruises. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you, your worship. I should like to see the rose garden. Very good, my lady. You, ma'am, would be helpful, thanks. Oh, Mr. Bumble. I mean, your ladyship.
see how far he can run for a halfpenny. See this halfpenny boy? Wait till we get to the top of the hill, then see how far you can run for it. Stop even keeping up. Keep up, boy. Nonsense, doesn't deserve it. Put it away. Back somewhere else, boy.
delighted. <laughs> I am also letting the pleasure of your intimate acquaintance, Oliver. Thank you, sir. Mr. Fagin, please. Artful, introduce Oliver to his new friends. Allow me to introduce Lloyd Lock and Potton on the count of her interesting keys. <laughs> Selby Crackett. Selby Crackett. Oh, it was someone to say, working metal. Jill to Joseph. Ah. Mm. He likes loaded and only widows. <laughs> <laughs> On the battle of Waterloo. And so I still proper English. And last of all, Charlie Bates, my friend and associate, and the best girl ever to be called by a boy's name.
Crack safely and softly. You say the word, you'll have all you need. We're going through weeks. We need the night straw in a little, but in the meantime, I need cash. <coughs> I'm having a breast fart. You have a fortune, you are no fence. I'll send the dodge around tomorrow with whatever I can spend together. You won't do nothing of the kind. You ain't it over now. How much? Five pounds. Three. I need dresses for the tar. Two. Please. What's the matter? There it is. Three pounds. Four. Three pound four shillings. Done. Three pound four shillings. Exactly. Don't look so miserable. You know I earn it more. Nancy! <coughs>
let's see what you manufacture, Toby. A very crooky auntie. And there's a big manar for it. Fine craftsman for all that. So fast, isn't he, Oliver? Talk. Me and the art have been doing our washing. Ice cream. 
Because all of the fighting is in the planet's lieutenant needs instruction. Five kept him inside. Oh, for two weeks. Not a breath of fresh air. But now he begs me to let him out with Charlie and the Dodger. Does he not suspect you? Oh, if he does, he keeps his thoughts well in. I never saw such a boy for watching. It's such a pretty face. The devil will take him. I never want to see his face again. No need, my friend. The money. One hundred pounds. As we agreed. Bring him down. And quickly. Now we'll turn. You turn.
paid, was it? Yes, sir, the book he has in his hand. Is it paid for? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite shocked. That person to bring a charge against a poor defenseless child. I consider, sir, that you obtained possession of that book under very suspicious and disreputable circumstances. And you may find yourself very lucky that the owner of that property declines to prosecute you. The boy is charged. Clear the court. Damn me. Clear the court. <coughs> She's an honour to her sex, and I intend to drink her up. He drank the out of a cup of them and three frogs. I hate this. It makes you look respectable. Very nice, very nice indeed. You know what to do? Only what I do all night. Pretend. Look out. <laughs> Corruption binds his own time. 
wants to let him feel that he's one of us. Wants to let his mind be filled with the idea that he has been a faith. And he'll be ours. Ours for life. Yours, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, then, mine. But are not my interests also yours, my friend? Or you would not have come to me. Ruin him. <coughs>
not a room, ma'am. And this would be a complete theme. Oh, it's too much for one. <laughs> <laughs> well, not for two, eh, Mrs. Corney? The board allow you coals, don't they, Mrs. Corney? And candles. Coals and candles, and I'll sweat free. What an angel you are. <laughs> Such a good for perfection. <clears throat> that fascinating. What an opportunity for a joint of arts and housekeepings. Little word. Yes! <laughs> Oh, that. 
light, still burning. They were already open. And a few scared people were met with. Struggling labourers on the way to work, the men and women with fish baskets on their heads. Donkey carts laden with vegetables, chase carts filled with livestock, all for the morning market. Whole carcasses of meat, milk room with pals, and unbroken concourse of people. Countrymen, butchers, drovers, hawkers, boys, thieves, idlers, and vagabonds. The drovers whistling, the barking dogs, the bellowing oxen, the bleating sheep, the squeaking pigs, the, the crowding, pushing, driving, beating, whooping, and yelling. City This is the place. Now, if you speak a word when you're outdoors with me, except when I speak to you. This show will be in your head, do you hear? Yes, sir. Right. What must I do? You'll learn soon enough. Tell me! Um, oh, my pal, and you're all of it too. Welcome to Chertsey Forest, lad. All set. Ready and waiting, Bill. Success to the caper, Bill. Go on, the are your nerves. I don't want to make don't think I don't know what's good for you. Drink it down! <coughs> ah, we best be off. Got an our side. The devil more like. Now listen carefully. We go through the window, drop down into the passage. Make your way to the end, or bolt it off on the inside that I see. Listen. What was that? Nothing, go on. Who's there? Ah! Ah! He's me! It's you! Give me an hammer, oh, boy! Shot myself to the manor. We have the boy. <laughs> 